to another Women Lead TV segment brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. I'm Michelle Burquist, your host today of Women Making Their Mark. And with me is my special guest, somebody you need to know, RV Robinson is not only, I have to read this because it's so important, she is a master speaker, she is a master trainer, she is an international superstar and author of not only Speak Up, but get clients. And so RV, say hello to our hello. audience. <laughs> so we're here talking about women making their mark and you are so that, I've known you for so many years. Yes. And you're looking at me funny right yes. now and I'm loving it. I'm, I'm waiting going, for the question. <laughs> how are you making your mark? How you knew that was my question. <laughs> you're was. waiting for it. I knew it was. And how I'm making my mark is teaching other women that their message matters mm -hmm. and that they need to get out in the world and share their message with the world because their message will save somebody's life, save somebody's business, or even could save somebody's soul. I love that. Well, you know, I know you are a superstar on stage. I've seen you many times as the superstar you are. So this is our intimate setting of women lead TV, but I, you know, I want to peel back the layers a little bit. Okay. I know this is why you're a superstar and how you're leaving your mark, but you have a very interesting corporate background. Do you mind kind of sharing I what your do. corporate do. career was like. <laughs> what did you do? All right, so what I did is I worked for a small company by the name of Deloitte, right? One of the big international CPA firms right out of college. And uh, my degree was in information systems, so I'm really kind of half geeky, techie, right? I wow. know, techie. And, uh, wow. and so I worked in corporate America for about uh, 23, 24 years. Oh. And that's where I got my start at public speaking because one day my boss came to me and said, RV, I want you to get out there and speak and tell people that we're offering this new service mm. of automating financial accounting for small to mid-sized companies. Now this started so a back question. in the 80s. I got it. And, well, and that's yeah. before cell phones. That's I mean, we could go a whole list of right. the things that were before not there. Before Starbucks. Did you? How did we survive? <laughs> That's a big one in our lives, isn't it? That was 76, I believe, right. that no. came about, was it? Yeah, no, don't, we don't want to date ourselves on that. Early. No. It was okay. than that early, no. Question. Was so okay. when your boss came to you and right. said that, had you been speaking at Deloitte before that, or was no. this, this was brand new for you? This was brand new Because you're a talkie, so in a good way. Yes. Okay. I was new. It was, I was brand new in the company, brand right. new, I mean, right out of college, but I took one speech class in college, mm. so I thought I was good to go. <laughs> I thought I knew everything there was to know about public speaking. But of course, I went out there and failed miserably. Uh -huh. I didn't get any clients, and I was uh, like afraid that if I didn't bring in some work, some clients, I could lose this cushy job that I had. I mean, I was in a high-rise downtown LA. Nice. Right? Yes. You know, so 29th floor with mahogany all around me. Gorgeous. And, you know, and those were the days you, had, you wore suits and you had your little briefcase. So we're up know. on the... 100th floor oh, right that's now. Right. We're on the 100th floor. Woo! I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get serious for a minute. Okay. So I'm curious, like with you, when you went out and you started doing this and you realized, oh my gosh, it's like speaking is not what I think is easy. Right. Then, I mean, what was the reality? First of all, did you keep your job? Second of all, how did you go good, and get good fabulous question. and wonderful? Here's what happened. So mm -hmm. I'm out there speaking mm -hmm. and nobody's coming and talking to me after my talk and I see other speakers and they're talking. So I'm like thinking, I'm doing something wrong. Something mm -hmm. isn't right, but I didn't know what it was. Right. And then one day, just like that, this woman comes up to me, I see her coming. <laughs> and I'm like, right, I'm doing the, the, the happy dance, going woohoo, yay, somebody's coming. I must be doing something right. And she looks me square in the eye and she says, honey. Oh no. I hate to tell you this. And I, that's what I thought. I'm thinking, oh my God, then don't, right? But I said, well, what is it? And she goes, honey. 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 Right? Bless your heart. Yeah. Do you know <laughs> that you say okay after every sentence? Did she say that to you? Do you? And all I could say okay. was okay. But I got it like that. But I was the problem. It just because I could flap my jaw, yeah. just because I could speak, didn't make me a speaker. Right. So Got I it. decided in that moment that I was going to respect public speaking mm. and go and get trained. And I did. And what the most amazing thing happened after that, Michelle? The the more trained I more training I got, mm -hmm. the better I got, the better the clients I got. It was like the better wow. I got, better clients. Better, better, better. But it better. was to speak on stage, not necessarily to sell to persuade. I mean or persuade, right? I mean it was to speak to get 
leads at the time in the 80s. To okay. get clients. Right. But in the software industry, I mean, that was revolutionary. Uh, so I would be speaking in front of 200 people about a particular software system. You know, so you had to be smart, people. too, because oh. you were talking about... Oh, yeah. And oh men gosh. in the audience, I mean. And they challenged you, probably. Oh. That thingamajig with the doohickey that goes <laughs> in the... That's what, you know, and I'm like, yeah, I know what well, that actually, is. Well, I knew more than they did, so <laughs> they didn't... Okay, that's good. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so it was a, it was a wonderful time. And wow. then the, another amazing thing happened is I've learned that you could use speaking not only to get clients, but to get promotions, -uh. right? Because I was with a bunch of CPAs right? that are very introverted, so mm -hmm. I just was outerverted. <laughs> Out, is that a word? <laughs> outerverted. We're going to take a note on that one. <laughs> outerverted. I like it. Um, outerverted. And uh, and so getting, that got me a lot of attention, a lot of visibility, because that's mm -hmm. what speaking does for people in business. Gives and you invis give you not invisible. Gives you word. visibility. I want to go back to your career. And so you're yeah. right. Speaking was very different in the 80s. Right. But especially talk a little bit about being a woman in the, in the technology arena. Because Ooh. at Deloitte, you were ahead of what now everyone wants women to get into science and technology and engineering. Right. So how right. did you... I, I Right. Get into that. I was a trailblazer, amazingly yeah. enough. Own that. I was a trailblazer. And again, I was setting up financial accounting systems, training uh, uh, business owners mm -hmm. how to use it. Now, this is when uh, you, you know, the Fortune 500 companies mm -hmm. are the only ones that were automated. Right. Right. So IBMs, now microcomputers. <laughs> right. IBM. So microcomputers came on the scene, and there were no hard disks in them at this time. Only floppies, dual God, floppies. I systems. remember those. There were like one or two accounting systems. QuickBooks didn't exist. Mm -hmm. When we got ten megabytes of hard disk space, we thought we died and went to heaven. I mean, that was it. It, it, it Say that right? again. And, ten and we megabytes. Have more, we have right? more on our phone now. I can't even believe that I lived to see it, right? The big floppy drives. <laughs> Remember those? It's like we went little, then we right. went big, then we went plastic, and yeah. then it's like everything. What about the port first portables? They were like suitcases. Yeah, I do remember those. I do remember. Like, yeah. I, I, was, yeah. I came from banking, so it was right. like the first computer. Everybody looked at it right. and kind of went... <laughs> Well, that's interesting. Yeah. And, then, and then all of a sudden, everyone yeah. had one. So, so, uh, yeah. so I want to answer the question about how was it like in a men, you know, men's mm -hmm. world? Because it was predominantly a man's world. But mm -hmm. here's the thing. When you do something that's different, when you're mm -hmm. ahead of the pack, mm -hmm. ooh, all of a sudden you're respected. And admired. Admired. And, and, and you know, I kept getting business because I could do something that mm -hmm. the typical CPA couldn't do. Did you know what a trailblazer you were at the no. time you were doing it? No, didn't, not no, at all. Didn't realize it, right? People said that, but I didn't know what that meant. Mm -hmm. I didn't appreciate it or, mm -hmm. or respect it until later on. And I kind of looked back, I went, wow, I did that? I'm all That's that. That's amazing. So Right. <laughs> That's called a pat on the back. That's still appropriate, right? I don't know Absolutely. anymore with like, but you Absolutely. know, it, it is interesting, RV, because you know, as a speaker, I think let's flip it forward to today, right? Okay. For speaking. And it's become almost like a commodity a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious for you, it's like, how do you bring out that background that you have? Because I knew, I knew about it. Right. I've heard you on stage. I haven't heard you talk about that. Right. Do you talk about your background like that I much? I do a okay. little bit about, um, you know, my in my professional story, mm -hmm. uh, because that's really where I got my start at public speaking. Yeah. If I didn't get my start there, I might not mention it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I was a senior manager. I wasn't, in, you know, some flunky. I mean, again, you know, I spoke and you know got got raised, uh, got promotions. So I was a senior manager, which was the highest level oh, that I wow. could go in that arena without being a CPA. And so after about 23, 24 years, I decided that it was time to make a change. I was at the very top, and I wanted to go trailblaze, you know, make in my own in. lane. Right, right, right. Did you, did you jump, or did you, was it strategic for you? Was it something that was like a, a trigger that told you, okay, it's time for me to go? Like for me, mm -hmm. in my commercial banking, I went through five mergers. And the fifth right. one, I said, that's it. I, I, after 13 years, I'm done. <clears throat> for you, did you like plan it out? Was it you just I, said, I'm mad as hell, I'm getting out of here? Or yeah, what? well, actually, to be honest with you, it was like I was in turmoil because that was my degree. That was everything oh. I knew. Oh. I didn't know what else to do. So, so Michelle, I prayed about it. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't long before mm -hmm. God said, public speaking. Here's the message. And I went, oh yeah. <laughs> 
I'm yeah, kind of good that at that. That was the other thing I could do. Yeah, I'm kind of good at that. <laughs> and so uh, 16 years ago, I left corporate America. Wow. And I did plan a transition for about six months. Give me a minute. I have to work back in my mind. 16 years ago. Okay, right ah, <laughs> I don't remember. Got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So this is when the internet was coming around, something. right? 2002, was it? Three, I don't know. Okay, so the internet was Long time Sorry. ago. And uh, so I've been around as a public speaking trainer for a long time. I've trained over 5,000 business Holy owners. Holy cow. 5,000. I mean, that's a lot. And I, I have the database to prove it. And given over 3,500 speeches all over the world. And I've traveled. It's been an exciting life. And I won't say it to like brag on anything, but to say anybody could do this. If you chose to learn public speaking, get mm -hmm. trained, you can go speak on cruise ships. You can mm -hmm. travel the world. You can call your own hours, do your own thing, be on wonderful shows like write this and book, be great people. Yep, podcasts. Write book. I mean, it's limitless. And, then, and you can leave your mark. Cool. As a woman, you can leave your And I love that. Well, that's what the show's about, so let's go with that, right? But for from when you started to now, like I remember back in the mid-90s, right, where you would have kind of manufactured speaking to get your VHS and media, you know, <laughs> package put together. And for those of our listeners and audience that have no idea what a VHS is, go ask your mother or your father's. But that said, it's like it's really changed because yeah, you know, I mean, in the days when you had speaker kits and you know you'd send them out by snail mail. I mean, right. tell me just because we've only got a few minutes left. What are some of the biggest changes that's happened in speaking since you started, which is quite okay. significant? By yes, the way. there's been many, mm -hmm. um, but two real quick ones. Number one, speaking time has changed. Mm -hmm. We no longer get an hour, 45 minutes because of the attention span of your audience. So we have to be... And that. Yeah. We, I mean, it's like 15 <laughs> minutes is the norm now, so don't be disappointed if you don't get the hour. So what happens... Like a TV show. Yes. Okay, so, so what, what that means is that you really have to be trained and practice. You can't wing it anymore. We don't have time to wing it. You have to no, be very concise point. and very on point. Mm -hmm. The second thing is instead of getting paid as a speaker, which is an old ancient model, there's a pay-to-play out there. Yes, that's right, a pay-to-play. And that's what people in the industry are doing. The speakers are actually paying to get on stage. The more you pay, the bigger the stage. So, so I question, with you being in the industry that long, do you like the pay-to-play model? I, I personally don't like not. it. <laughs> yeah. No, of course he I does. You know why? Because people are taking advantage and they're going mm -hmm. really crazy. You know, they're saying, ooh, $5,000 and you can get in front of 20 people, but you can't sell. Like really or you can't have the contact information. Yeah. Or you, right, no, I, I know. No, I don't like it, and I'm looking forward to it changing, switching back. So I believe in collaboration is the new currency. And you, I like you know, those words. I love you, you love me, let's work together, let's play together. You know, what is just all this me. expensive money thing? You yeah, know, I think that? there's a way, but it's like, you know, speaking is part of your toolkit, right? So right. I think that, that that's what people need to know. And I know you've got a really big event coming up in September. I do. Tell us about the big speaker summit okay, and tell it's, everybody. It's called the Million Dollar Speaker Summit. It's my fifth year doing it. Million Dollar speaker summit come we have a lovely time I love on you I give you great information it's not a pitch a thon I'm the only speaker and a few of my students join me so it's three so you're days the of training three days of public speaking training how to how to create a million dollar message how to reach millions and how to make millions Wowza, and three days, and where do they go to be able to kind of find out? How do you want Irvine. to be? Irvine, oh, okay, it's contact. in Irvine, mm -hmm. September 24th, 25th, and 26th. You can go to milliondollarspeakersummit.com, and you can sign up today, early bird. You're so How wonderfully cool verbal. You are awesome. <laughs> you are a woman making her, her mark, mark. <laughs> leaving a mark. It's almost like a little trail behind yes, you. We'll go yes. with that. I want to do that, but folks, that's the end of our show. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Women Lead TV, brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. Arvi, thank you You're for welcome. being our guest today and our master amazing leader. We'll be back You're for natural. another Women Lead TV show soon. There we go. Okay. <laughs>